Oh, hi, Freddy. Come on, buddy. Good morning, buddy. Go on. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another one. Uh, this video, you guys have asked for it. Uh, I've asked you guys if you wanted to see it. And we're gonna go ahead and do it for y'all. Today's video is over my mouth situation and not anything else. I am gonna jump in the truck and do some scouting while we talk about it, but I made sure that you guys wanted to see it. Today's not gonna be a really long video. It's just gonna cover the topic about the test results of the biopsy of my tongue. So a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. If some of you don't, I'll run it down for you real quick. <clears throat> These two spots showed up on my tongue. I have been an avid tobacco chewer for approximately 12 to 15 years. These two spots showed up and turns out they weren't very nice spots. So we had them tested. They took a basically a hole punch out of my tongue, which was horrible. A lot of you guys seen that. It's pretty much healed up by now, but it was all due to chewing and that's it. So the results are a little wishy-washy, but we're gonna get into them. Basically, the test was to determine if it was cancerous right now and what kind of cell it exactly is. You know what I'm saying? Old Fred can tell you he's a hungry boy. Oh, are you hungry, Fred? Huh? Are you hungry? You want some food, buddy? Huh? You want some food? There you go. There you go, buddy. Look at him. He's so happy in the mornings when I feed him. He's a cute boy. Well, we're on the road scouting here. Daylight savings time today. Right now, well, it just said it was 7.05. Now it says it's 6.05. It's obviously daylight savings time. Um, way lighter out, way earlier today, let me tell you. But I wanted to uh, hit on something before I get into the meat and taters of the test results. So I was scrolling through Instagram and one of my buddies uh, DM'd me and he sent me a post uh, by a gal who hunts, I think she hunts a little bit of everything, uh, who posted up something about guys and maybe some gals who chew, uh, hunters who chew. There's a lot of guys out there, young guys, uh, that think like you have to chew. Like if you're hunting, I have to have in a dip. Or I'm going to put in this lucky dip and the birds are going to show up. Or just something along those lines that that is outdoors and dipping related. I, I, uh, I read her post and I absolutely fell in love with it because it hit the nail on the head, guys. When I was younger, when I was in my 20s, uh, early 20s, late teens even, for a lot of years, for a lot of years, looking back on it, uh, she's right. There's like a heavy aura uh, above groups of hunters, friends, young guys that says if one of them chew, the other has to chew. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not cool unless I chew too. You know, I'm not a man unless I'm chewing type of thing. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you guys right now, straight up, I do, I do not care who is the coolest person out there that chews or this and that, that tells you that, that chewing is tasty or anything good you know what i mean first and foremost it is an awful habit let me tell you what if you're trying to score the girl of your dreams do you honestly think if she's a classy gal anyways that she's gonna be like oh you chew that's hot no no she's not gonna think it's hot do you think your mom is gonna be proud of you for throwing in them cancer lipper dippers huh no probably not you think your dad's gonna be like, ah, yeah, my boy, I chewed for 40 years. Well, I know some dads can be like that, but I hope yours isn't like that. Basically, what I'm getting down to in a nutshell is I'm talking about each and every one of our health, our health situations, health in general, okay? Just because you're young doesn't mean what you're doing now is, is not going to affect you later in your life. Take me for example. I can remember the first day I chewed. The first day I chewed was at a new job I got back when I was probably 19 years old. I was so excited for this job. 
I wanted to have energy. I wanted to feel good at work. And one of my coworkers uh, had some dip on him. I think it was Wintergreen Skull. And uh, I threw that sucker in. That was my first time ever. And it gave me the biggest buzz that I could not kick. I loved it. I was addicted. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I was happy. Woo! Kind of feel a little buzz. You know what I mean? Let me tell you, that little happy buzz feeling with chew or cigarettes, it doesn't last forever. Your body gets used to it. And what it became for me and for a lot of my friends that chew, a lot of people that I know, chewing usually becomes one or two things. Uh, a lot of my friends and, and people that I know either say one or two things. God, Bobby, I wish I could quit, but I just can't. I've tried many times. Or God, Bobby, uh, I've actually quit many times but my body just still has this knee-jerk reaction to want something right here. And they make a lot of things that you can put here that doesn't have nicotine and all the bad stuff in it. Look into those things. Uh, but I think having a foreign object here, not, not only that it's uh, tobacco, you know what I'm saying? Having anything in your mouth, foreign object, is probably not good. Your mouth ain't going to like that. For me, uh, the first thing that made me slow down on my chewing was that uh, I'd be in a decent like mood like I am now, and uh, I'd have good energy, and uh, I'd be like, just out of habit, I would throw in a dip. I'd be like, man, this is going to be better. My brain would be like, yep, you need it. Yep, you're going to love it. And I'd throw it in, and that nicotine, what it does, nicotine knocks down your energy level. So it's like for people that are stressed out, take me a smoke or throw in a dip, Oh, it, re it relaxes them, you know what I mean? I'm not that type of guy. I really don't like to be chill all the time, especially when I need to work. My energy level needs to be up there. So what happened to me, why I started hating chew, is I'd be at this level, I'd throw one in, it'd knock me down, I'd be like, uh, uh, I don't feel like doing that now. You know what I mean? My, it'd affect my stomach, my stomach would be sour. Basically, long story short, I just grew to hate it. And here we are now. You know, I just grew to hate it a little too, a little too late. I wish I would have grew to hate it a lot earlier. So that there, I know that was a long little speech, but that there is the message that I want to get across to you guys. Chewing, uh, let me tell you, and I'm not lying. Please believe me. You don't need chew to survive, okay? You do not need cigarettes to survive. What you do need is your health to survive. All these little things, jewels, cigarettes, tobacco, anything out there, they're all just an acquired little product that we as human beings have come to think that we actually need. And it's sad. A lot of companies kill people out here, okay? Don't believe all them companies is what I'm trying to say. All right, that was a long rant. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I wanted to get my point across. So on to the results. I gotta read it from my phone because uh, by the way, we're pulling into a field here. Gonna go check a little duck hole. Um, here is the, uh, I gotta read it because there's a lot of big medical terminology in here. What it is is path squamous papilloma with acute inflammation and adjacent acantosis and perikeratosis. So basically, pathogen was not malignant, not cancerous, but uh, the doctor did state that this cell, Bobby, is in fact precancerous. He said this cell at any time can turn cancerous <clears throat> at the snap of a finger. So um, I have a update appointment coming up in a few weeks. Um, they're gonna look at it. I'm doing like some medicated mouthwash right now to see if that gets rid of it or helps it But we're not out of the woods yet um, I can guarantee if I go back and it looks the same or maybe worse. Maybe now it's irritated or maybe It just didn't nothing happened. I can guarantee you that the doctor is gonna suggest that I get both sites removed and I can tell you, both sites are not that small. Not at all, the back one is pretty big. So, um, as of right now, it is precancerous. It is a precancerous cell. What that means, guys, is that it could go cancerous at any moment. 
the minute it does that's stage one you know what i'm saying so what do i do you know i've been asking myself that quite question do i wait till it gets worse and wish i would have got it cut out because if i get all that cut out i can guarantee you i'm gonna be laid up there ain't gonna be no videos on, on this whole youtube channel you know what i'm saying it is gonna be horrible just the hole punch was bad enough so drop a comment down below have any of you guys done that and i do want to give a huge huge shout out and a huge thank you to a lot of you guys who uh stepped up out of your comfort zones and you sent me awesome awesome dms on instagram and you dropped a comment down below stating your story a lot of you have the same story that i'm going through right now and uh, i appreciate you sharing that information because it takes a little bit of the weight off my shoulders you know what i'm saying now a lot of you said bob if you get it cut out it sucks like eating is horrible you know the drill but they did say if you get it cut out you don't have anything to worry about especially if you stop chewing you know what i'm saying so if that is the case i'm probably going to wait till after the season uh, after the waterfowl season this year uh, to get it cut out just so it's not affecting my videos and, and my job right now you know what i'm saying it's only a few more months and then we'll get it done that's that's my plan right now well walking into the old duck pond i'm gonna scout it and see if there's anything on it i want to i'm ready to do that 410 challenge for y'all but i appreciate all the support guys without you guys man this uh this issue i'm going through would be a lot more uncomfortable having you guys to give your suggestions and help me through it with your knowledge because some of you have done this it helps so much took a lot of weight off my shoulders to be honest Ooh, there's ducks on it oh yeah there's some ducks out there i see a big group of spoonies <laughs> and that's about it this daylight savings time deal just got me all messed up i got up late today to scout darn it but do drop a comment down below do you want to see the old 410 Try to down some spoonies on the old pond. Drop a comment down below and let me know. Oh, but I'm not gonna waste any more of your guys' time. I told you that this is gonna be a very short video, straight to the point, you know what I mean? And I do apologize, kinda, because a lot of the videos have just been action-packed lately. You guys have been loving them. You guys have been loving the challenge videos. So I do apologize that this video was so laid back and rather boring, but I wanted to share all this information with you guys and I hope that you appreciate that. I had a, a handful of you guys uh, message me and um, you said, Bobby, what can I do to help support the channel? I subscribed, I turned on my notification bell, I really don't have the money to buy ducks gear. What can I do to help you out? And uh, one thing you can do, if uh, and it's free, is let the ads play. If you let each ad play on the video, that helps a ton. So, if you're not interested in Ducks gear, and you've already subscribed and done all the rest of the stuff, but you still wanna support the channel, that's something that you can do that doesn't cost you a dime. And I appreciate you guys, because without y'all, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be sharing my story, my life, my family, my hunting, my friends, everything, right? I love y'all, man. Y'all are special to me. Y'all are part of my family y'all are amazing but i'm gonna let you go i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your sunday spend it with family spend it with friends have fun enjoy life never take life too seriously y'all but be serious about your life if that makes any sense i hope it does for y'all remember chewing it's unnecessary it's disgusting women don't like it okay and you're gonna grow to hate it anyways one day so you might as well just drop the habit now please do it for me man do it for fred do it for your mama please but until next time y'all